guys, it's Tiffany from Us The Remingtons here, and today I'll show you how to hook up cable and set up the antenna on your travel trailer. I hope you're enjoying your rental, and I know there's a ton to learn, but this lesson's well worth it because afterwards you can sit down, relax, and enjoy a show. Let's start with hooking up cable. Find your trailer's coax cable. Coax cables vary in length, but longer is better. It allows you to set up your trailer however you want while still reaching the parks cable hookup. Once you find your coax cable, locate the cable input on your trailer. It usually will be on the outside wall of your trailer, on the driver's side, or on the docking station in the underneath compartment. Both the parks hookup and your trailer's input are female plugs. So connect one end of your coax cable, both males, to the trailer and the other to the parks hookup. Now go inside and turn on your TV. Find the channel scan option in your TV's menu and run it. Channel configurations change when you move so you'll need to do this every single time you plug into a new cable connection. If you have trouble finding the channel scan option, consult your TV's manual. If you're plugged in outside but not getting any signal, make sure your coax cable inside your trailer is connected to the back of your TV. This cable runs out of the port behind your TV. Also, if you have a signal booster for Wi-Fi, cell signal, or antenna, make sure it's turned off so it doesn't interfere with your cable signal. Finally, many RVs have distribution boxes in a cabinet near your TV. These boxes allow you to switch the TV input between your trailers, cable, satellite, and antenna connections. If you're still not getting a signal, you may need to change your TV's input to the cable selection on the distribution box. Now for some antenna talk. Your antenna tunes into over-the-air channels. Your location determines how many channels you get and the quality of the signal for those channels. The further you are from a broadcast tower or a relay station, the more difficult it can be for your antenna to get reception. On the other hand, you'll usually get better reception close to major cities. Keep in mind that the weather and other environmental factors such as trees and ridge lines that block signals also impact the strength of the reception for over the air channels. So if the signal strength and the picture quality change but your antenna remains in the same place, it may be due to the factors outside of your control. If your trailer is equipped with an antenna booster, also make sure it is turned on before proceeding. There are many types of antenna for travel trailers. Three main designs are fixed, omnidirectional, digital directional, and analog directional. Start by determining which type is installed on your rig. Fixed omnidirectional antennas will automatically adjust when you turn the TV on. So if you're working with this type, simply turn your TV on and run a channel scan. Some digital directional antennas adjust on their own and others have a plate or a dial inside the rig that must be turned on to adjust reception. You'll still need to start with channel scan and then adjust the antenna until you get the best quality picture that you can find. Analog directional antennas must be extended with a crank located inside of your trailer. Then they also have a dial or a plate to turn them. Always make sure that there's plenty of clearance above your trailer before extending any type of antenna. Once an analog directional antenna is extended, turn your TV on and run a channel scan. When the scan is complete, tune into your preferred channel and rotate your antenna as you observe how the picture quality changes. Your goal is to point your antenna in the direction that gives you the best picture quality. So you may want to rotate a full 360 degrees several times to dial it in. Because channel configurations change from place to place, you may have to adjust the direction of your antenna when you change channels. This happens when the signal for different channels is broadcast or relayed from towers in different locations. As a final note, it is important to understand that the channels you'll get through a cable connection and antenna reception will be similar and different. You should get major networks, CBS, NBC, ABC, etc. through both methods, but you'll largely get different offerings from smaller networks. So setting your antenna and plugging into your cable connection will give you a wider selection. You'll just need to make a change at your trailer's distribution box to explore the selections for each input. To do that, you simply locate the box in the overhead compartment and select the input you want, cable or antenna. If you have multiple TVs, make sure you change the input for the one that you're trying to watch. Make a note somewhere inside your trailer reminding you to retract your antenna before moving again. Hopefully that was helpful. I hope that you're able to get all the channels that you want and enjoy a show.